Oh. Welcome to another episode of Waterbend Adventures. Today I'm going to be using some nighttime bobbers. These are LED bobbers I got from Amazon. We're going to take a closer look at them and see how bright they are at night. I'm very excited. The crappie has been biting pretty good here. So yeah, we're at this, uh, this little spot right here and hopefully we get some uh, big some big crappies. Uh, we were here a couple days ago. We got our limit of crappies and we also caught two nice 26 plus inch uh, walleye so let's hope you can do that again i'm uh out here on a solo mission so let's go fishing let's go guys all right guys this is our basic setup this is a 130 second jig head doesn't matter what color for these guys then i have on this bobber that i got from amazon it's got a led light on the tip and we'll show you how it works later so let's get this one casted out and we're just using the basic crappie minnows. And I'll just have the crappie minnows set about, about three and a half. Let's go, let's go right around four feet. Cause right in front of me, it's right about eight feet deep. So let's see, let me see here. Yep, it's right about four feet deep. All we gotta do is just cast it out. Let your jig head sink. Will you see that? There's something chasing minnows over there, right there already. All right, my minnow is in. Finally sinked down the four feet and my bobber is just sitting on its side. Will you guys see that? They're chasing. I think it's going to be a really good night, guys. Got our first fish. Oh, we got a bass. Got our first fish, guys. A little bass. Oh, and as soon as I dropped, I got a little, little bluegill. What are the chances of that? It's a green sunfish. All right, guys, this is one style of the bobber. This is what uh, they come in a tube. The batteries do come separate. This one's uh, better, better for bigger, for bigger lures that you're using. It's got a little eyelid down here. The cap twist off. And the battery does come separate. I just put it in here. All you do is just push it in and then it turns on. These are actually pretty bright. When you're not using it, you just turn it upside down, put it back in, close it up, just like that. Then all you gotta do is just put it back in the tube and it'll stay protected. And there's a little cap on it. And this is the second style of bobbers. This one's a little bit skinnier. This one's a little better for funness barbie fishing and this one's the same thing you just twist the top off just like so and the batteries also come separate same batteries all you do is just put it in and push it and the lights off And uh, it's kind of hard to see right now, but I'll show you at nighttime when it's a lot better. And when you're done with it, just take it out, turn it upside down, and store it, and you're good to go. Actually, you have to, these you have to leave up. And the battery fits are pretty snugly, so you don't have to worry about it turning on at night or during the day or whatever. 
So let's put the cat back in. You're all set to go. Let's go catch some fish, guys. Oh, got a fish bite in. Can't get him. Probably a small one. Oh, still biting. There he goes. We got him. We got him, guys. Oh, what is this? I'm going through some weeds. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a big bluegill, guys. Wow, that's a nice size bluegill. Pretty good. Probably, probably good 89 inches. Very nice. I need to keep the middle. So let him go. Let them go, let them grow. Alright guys, I just picked up some of these hit lures too. Handcrafted injection tackle lures made in right here in Minnesota. He's got a lot of different colors. I believe this is the red, the glow red or something like that. I'm just going to use one and see if we can catch some fish on this. Here's what it looks like. Just going to throw it right on the hook. This is actually made for ice fishing, but I'm going to try it anyways. So we get some good luck. Yeah, they are hitting this hit lure. Like crazy, guys. There he goes. You got one. It's mostly bluegills right now. The crappies haven't moved in yet. They should be moving in once it gets a little darker. Another big bluegill. Not a bad size, guys. It's good eaters. Wow, another nice sunny, guys. Wow, good size. I say these are all good eating sized bluegills. Might have to keep some for the, for the frying pan. Look at this, guys. There's a lot of quality, quality, quality bluegills. Oh, there's a little hit lures. Injection molded. It's really cool. Really cool lure. Wow. <laughs> a lot of fish jumping. There he goes. Another nice bluegill. Alright guys, now that's getting dark, the crappies are starting to come out. We're gonna let this one go. That's 
what we are after. I'm nervous, I'm just casting it out there. I'm getting my jig head slowly sink. I'm using a one one hundredth ounce jig head. Doesn't, doesn't matter what color. And I'm getting bites. Set about three feet below the bobber right now. And we got another one. Oh, and he got away. That's right, there's more. There's more of them out there. This is only using a hit lower soft plastic. One 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 hundredth ounce jig head. Just like that. I'm just casting it out there, slowly jigging. About three to uh, about three feet under under the bobber. Maybe three and a half. It's about six to eight feet out there, so I want to be in the middle column. That's that's where all the active crappies are gonna be. Trying to get hits again. Let it sink. Slowly retrieving. Just give it a couple of jiggles. Just let it sit. And just pay attention to your bobber. And if your line is tight enough, you can actually feel the fish take your line too, depending on how sensitive your rod is. This is a Bass Pro Shop Pan, Pan Fishy Light. It's a real good rod. I paired up with a Jimmy Morris or a Johnny Morris reel. 1000 series and it's a great combination. This is a seven foot rod. And it's very sensitive for detecting all the little light bites. All right, it's time to light these up. twist get the battery out plug it in there it is Make sure it's tight it's got the little rubber o-ring right there or it feels like an o-ring but So nice and bright, you can see it. It's so nice. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's so much more visible to the eye than all the other ones, especially the one with the glow sticks. Catch some fish, guys. This is a one one hundredth jig head and a crappie minnow. It's that's all I'm using. Oh, it's so dark. I don't even know if you guys can see anything, but. My bobber slowly starting to come up, which means I might have a fish on. Yep, and I hope oh, had one on. Still got my minnow. Right now I'm fishing about five feet. Let's bring it down to about four feet. That's more like two and a half feet right there. There you go, guys. We got one. <clears throat> it's 
It's about an average, average size crappie here. It's only about seven, eight inches. We'll let this one go. What I like about these bobbers, this your jig is so light. So when you cast out your bobbers laying on its side, but when a fish bites, it's so sensitive that it actually lifts up your bobber. Before it actually goes down so you know they have a fish biting.